Hi guys, welcome to Nothing Geek TV. Today I got HTC Desire A26 smartphone with me. Uh, it's a new offering uh, from HTC. It is a dual SIM device with a 5.5 full HD display, a 13 megapixel front facing camera, and a 13 megapixel rear camera. So let's check out how the phone performs uh, and its features. So the build is pretty sleek and it's nice, it feels robust and the back plate is non-removable and the overall look of the phone is really cool and it's really premium. This side is uh, uh, quite a bit rubberish so it provides for a good grip, a fine grip which is non-slippery. On uh, the right side of the phone I have to uh, just uh, remove this panel which uh, reveals uh, two uh, micro sim uh, two sim card slots and a micro sd card slot and the total uh, memory can be expanded to a massive 128 gb which is a good thing htc logo on the back although the back plate is plastic i again say it's a really nice cool and a robust device guys and i'm really uh, liking it as far as the display is concerned viewing angles are simply great watching videos and playing games on this full hd display are a treat coming to the performance I ran N2 benchmark on this device and uh, let's see what the benchmark has to say. So guys I ran N2 benchmark on this phone and it gave it a score of 35,872. Now the interesting part is that when I ran the 64 bit N2 benchmark the phone refused to run it and uh, it started heating up significantly from this area and uh, reboot it so that is a uh, issue uh, in the phone as far as uh, its placement is concerned the phone is uh, uh, let's check check the ranking info and uh, uh, let me show you uh, the multi touch on the phone first So it's a 5 point multi touch which is uh, good enough for most of the apps and devices let us take a look at the sensors so i have direction sensor gravitation sensor is not supported acceleration sensor light sensor e-compass proximity sensor these uh, are the four sensors uh, which have been uh, supported uh, uh, in uh, in the phone uh, it is a uh, but where that G sensor is not supported. Anyways, the phone does not even feature a NFC, uh, and the phone costs quite a few bucks. That's surprising. The phone is uh, running Android KitKat 5.0.2, which is the latest, and has a dense screen display density of uh, 48 dpi. Good enough. So, guys, uh, when it comes to performance, uh, this kind of score is good enough uh, for all your you know regular uh, tasks like multitasking running apps in the background be it facebook twitter gmail or chatting and uh, listening to music at the same time uh, for the gamers this is a fantastic uh, this is a fantastic device in terms that it can run heavy games like model combat 5 which i uh, played in my last video which is the gaming uh, review of this phone but at the same time the phone heats up pretty fast quite fast uh, from this area which will lead to the battery drainage so keep that in mind i will recommend uh, light to moderate gaming for heavy gamers i won't recommend this phone because it heat ups like and heats up like anything and uh, i'm sitting indoors in ac and uh, still the heating was phenomenal uh before i jump into the battery and the camera let me uh, talk to you about uh, uh, let's see whether the phone uh, supports OTG one, one thing is sure that the apps can be moved to SD that I'm confirming to you let me plug in this OTG cable and let's see whether uh, we can uh, play stuff so it's preparing the USB USB storage is ready uh, let me try to play a video from uh, uh, the OTG I'll open play movies. All right, so uh, let me uh, check in the gallery. Uh, so, guys, as you can see, it is playing uh, the review uh, which I hey guys, did earlier. TV.
you all have been doing great the speakers are, are simply awesome uh speakers uh in phone they are simply awesome it's a uh, dolby speakers uh stereo dolby speakers which add to the overall effect uh they're really vibrant and nice to so the phone uh supports otg and the apps are also movable to the sd coming to the battery front the phone got 2600 mh battery uh it's not non removable battery and it's good enough for a uh, uh you know when you're using the phone lightly without running gps or heavy games the phone will easily last one day but when you go to running heavy games or gps or in fact uh, while i ran the benchmark while showing you this video the phone starts heating up pretty fast pretty pretty fast and that adds to the battery drainage so in that case you will run out of juice in about six and a half to seven hours so that is not a good battery backup considering the phone heats up pretty fast uh, moving on to the camera there's a 13 megapixel camera in the front and a 13 megapixel cam at the rear so uh, let me uh, check the quality so guys as you can see the 13 megapixel camera it's not too awesome uh, the seam is not uh, it's uh, visible but uh, uh, the cracks and the seam are not visible uh, in that much detail i mean i i have seen a better performance from a 10 or 15 thousand uh, buck phone uh, uh, which is having a similar 13 megapixel camera uh, the touch screen is nice but uh, the detailing even the detailing of the mesh is not is good but it's not great i'm not satisfied with the camera look at another image the detailing of the fur of the tiger is not so good and neither the colors are coming out pretty well this is a selfie which i clicked uh, my selfie and uh, the front facing cam camera does a fine job the detailings are good and the face comes out well but uh, when we talk about the rear camera guys it, it's not good up to the mark so i am not pretty pleased with the rear camera moving on uh, to final thing let me show you so we got a dual sim which i already showed you uh backup and reset the phone got a uh, gesture functionality allow apps to recognize three finger input uh, sensor surprisingly uh the g sensor was not uh, showing up in uh in the end to benchmark but as you can see i can calibrate the g sensor and uh, you can see uh, it it's having the g sensor so uh i will make that correction the gesture functionality is not that double tap you can open it but it just al allow apps to recognize three finger output gesture and that's about it so boom sound with dolby audio and the phone is running android dolby pop uh out of the box so guys uh if uh we talk about a lot of things in the video or uh, if you talk about the design display that a pretty top notch pretty uh, premium quality and really nice display and build quality i'm impressed with it battery it uh, i'm not impressed with this because only of the heating factor which i've witnessed a lot in the recent htc devices the phone heats up pretty fast uh, the performance is definitely good uh, and the camera um, it's not good it kind of disappoints uh, uh, it's better to ignore this phone uh, you can look go for other options uh, if you are spending that much amount of money um, the basic factor which put me off is a heating one and uh, i'm not pretty pleased with this phone uh, thanks for watching the video kindly hit the subscribe button and if you are having any queries kindly use the comment section uh, i'll be more than happy to uh, reply to you get back to you thanks for watching have a great day